So we are going to practice multiplying decimals with generic rectangles. So I'm going to go through a couple of examples with you. These ones are word problems. So these are kind of like the ones that we've been practicing in our, uh, our textbook. So we have Janet who can read three and forty hundredths pages of a book in a minute. If she read for three minutes, or three and twenty-two hundredths of a minute, how much would she have read? So really what we're trying to do is multiply those decimals together. So we're going to set this up like a generic rectangle. And then it's going to be a three by three because we have a three digit number by a three digit number. And we have decimals and we're not going to so much worry about the decimals yet. So we're going to change each part of these into fractions because we're really good at multiplying fractions at this point. So we're going to change those into fractions. So we're going to start with three and forty hundredths. And actually, oh. all right, so we have three holes, which we can write as three or three over one. And then we have a four in that tens, tenths place. So this would be four tenths. And we have a zero in the hundredths place. So I actually don't need to do this because zero out of 100 is not going to do anything for us. And then we're going to do the same thing with the 3 and 20 two hundredths. Again, we're splitting it up into all the place values. So we have 3 or 3 over 1. Writing it as 3 over 1 just helps us remember that we're only multiplying the numerators for that one. And then we have 2 in the tenth spot, so 2 tenths. And then we have 22 in the hundredth spot. I'm sorry, a 2 in the hundredth spot, not 22. So now I can use my great multiplication skills to get these answers. So in this box, we have 3 times 3, which is 9 holes. Um, here we have 3 over 1 times 2 over 10, which gives us 6 tenths. Here we have 2 over 100 times 3 over 1 and I get 6 over 100. Here we have 3 over 1 times 4 over 10, and I get 12 tenths, or 1 and 2 tenths. And then here I have 2 tenths times 4 tenths, which is 8 over 100 and then here I have 2 over 100 times 4 over 10 and I get 8 over 1000. Okay so this box right here always holds my denominator, my common denominator. So my common denominator is 1000. So what I'm really doing here is I am adding together my 9, my 6 tenths, my 6 hundredths, 1 and 2 tenths, 8 hundredths, and 8 thousandths. I need to add all of those together. So I have 9 plus 1 and 2 tenths plus 10, sorry, 6 tenths. plus 8 over 100, plus 6 over 100, plus 8 over 1,000. So what I can do here is I want to get all these numbers to be out of 1,000, these fractions, I should say, to be out of 1,000. And if to get from 10 to 1,000, I'm really multiplying by... 10. So really I'm just adding one zero. So 100 times 10 is 1,000, 6 times 10 is 60. I'm going to do the same thing for my 8 one hundredths, 80 over 1,000. 
Um, to get from 10 to 1,000, I need to multiply by 100, so I need to add two zeros there as well. And same thing for my two tenths. There we go. So now I have 200 plus 600 plus 80 plus 60 plus 8. So that would be 8, 14, so I'm going to add another 100. I should have written this the other way so it's easier. Double check to make sure I'm doing this correctly. 200 plus. Six hundred. That's going to be confusing if I do that. I need to add another 100. So I have 948 over 1,000. So I have 9 plus 1 plus 948 over 1,000. So this would be 9, oh, sorry, 10 plus 948 over 1,000, or 10.948. You could also have done it this way and changed them into fractions in your generic rectangle. So this would still be 9. 6 tenths is really written like that. Um, 1 and 2 tenths would be 1.2, or 1 and 2 tenths, that's how we say that. 8 hundredths would be 0 0.08, and then 8 thousandths would be 0 0.008. So I really have 9.000 plus 1. I have to make sure my decimals are lined up. Oops, and I forgot this one. This would be 0 0.06. And now if you wanted just to make sure you have all of your decimals lined up in the correct space. 14. And that's exactly what we got over here and there. Okay, so that's one example of how to do that. And you could do it either way if you want to set them up and then turn them into decimals right away up here in your generic rectangle. That is completely fine. So let's try one more. If I can find where it went. Up here. Okay. A bakery used four cups of flour to make a full-size cake. If they wanted to make a cake that was five-tenths the size, how many cups of flour would they need? This one is a pretty simple one for us. Um, we would do four on one side, five-tenths on the other. We're just we're just changing that 0.5 into 5 tenths because there is a 5 in the tenths place. So 4 over 1 times 5 over 10, and we get 20 over 10, which is really 2. Two holes exactly. Should have started out with that one, but hope that helps. Um, if you don't like using the generic rectangle method, um, and a traditional method makes more sense. I will also link a separate video so that you can watch that as well. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching.